32 miles southeast of Austin are the Lost Pines, an area holding pine trees isolated from the main body of pines in East Texas by 100 miles in what is now Bastrop State Park. Admission is $5 for adults, 12 and under are free. The Tree Army Trailheads, named after Roosevelt's Tree Army, consisting of CCC workers, are also in the same parking lot where the historic golf shelter and starter house can be found. Lake Mina Loop is 0.8 miles long and takes you to Lake Mina. This trail is great for strollers and is wheelchair accessible. Lake Mina Loop will take you to Lake Mina, a hand-dug pond where adults and children are able to enjoy fishing. No swimming is allowed. Connected to Lake Mina Loop is Blacksmith Spur, a 0.07 mile trail that connects to Stonemason Course and the old nine mile loop. Stone Mason Course is 0.9 miles long and will take you back to the parking lot. The 1811 trail is 0.3 miles and only accessible from the Stone Mason Trail. This trail goes in a loop and was one of the more scenic. The shortest trail on the south portion of the Army Tree Trail is Playfield Path at 0.1 miles. This trail cuts across Lake Mina Loop, Blacksmith Spur, the Old Nine Loop, and Stonemason Course. Across from the parking lot is the continuation of Old Nine Loop Trail and access to the 1805 trail. This trail is about a mile long and is also paved. The longest army tree trail is the Old Nine Loop. At 1.5 miles long, it goes from the south to the north. Some parts may be considered more challenging than other trails due to slopes and curves. Carpenter Crossover is 0.3 miles long and connects one part of the Old Nine Loop on the north side to another section of the same trail. Close to the headquarters is the historic Gulf Shelter. Built by the WPA, visitors were able to enjoy golfing here up until 2015. Next to the historic golf shelter is the starter house. I wasn't able to find much information on this structure, so if you have any information, let me know in the comments below. Across from the historic golf shelter is the refectory. Built by the CCC, this is one of the buildings that helped the state park qualify as a National Historic Landmark in 1997.
In the Copperas Creek camping area, across from the bathrooms, is one of the park structures built by the CCC, or Civilian Conservation Corps. While no longer in use, it shows that by using local materials, it allowed buildings to blend into the landscape while allowing families a place to enjoy nature. Across the road from the Copperas Creek Camp area is the Lost Pines Trail. This is a challenging trail that is 8.2 miles long. Close to the beginning of the Lost Pines Loop is one of the historic water fountains built by the CCC. Other historic water fountains can also be found throughout the park. Further down from the historic water fountain on the Lost Pines Loop is Fair's Overlook. At the Overlook is a CCC shelter, which provides a view of the highway past the view of the trees. A popular point of interest at the park is the scenic overlook. From this point, you can take in a view of the pine trees, as well as see the recovery the area has made since the 2011 wildfires. This wildfire was one of the most destructive in the state's history and affected 96% of the park. Close to the scenic overlook is a turn for Park Road 1C, a scenic 11-mile winding road going towards Bisher State Park. A short way down and across from the Creekside camping area will be Carrizo Trail. At 0.33 miles long, this was a short trail, but in my opinion, the prettiest. Behind the barracks is the Pine Warbler Trail. This moderate 0.3 mile hike will take you to the middle of the scenic Overlook Trail. The scenic Overlook Trail is 1.7 miles long if starting from the beginning at the scenic Overlook and is considered a moderate hike. Also accessible from the end of Pine Warbler Trail is the Post Oak Spur, a 0.5 mile trail that is considered moderate. Farkleberry Spur is a moderate hike that is 0.4 miles long and leads to the refectory. Lake Spur Trail is a 0.2 mile moderate hike that leads to Bastrop State Park Lake. 
At the time of this video, the lake was closed to establish vegetation and prevent erosion on the lake banks. Next to the playground and picnic area is the swimming pool. When open, reservations for two hour time frames are available at $5 for individuals 13 and older without a park entrance permit, $3 for children 6 to 12 years of age, and free for children 5 and under. There are numerous sites to camp at here in the park. Full hookup sites are $25 a night, campsites with electricity are $20 a night, while campsites with just water are $15. These historic cabins were built in the 1930s and have been kept in the same condition as much as possible to maintain their craftsmanship. Nightly rates range from $110 to $200 at the time of this video. I hope this video inspires you to explore the beauty of nature around you. Please give this video a thumbs up and until next time, keep tracking.